and supporting our guest because everybody we have on is fighting with everything they've got. This is a war against you and your family of inflation and collapse. And they know everybody's going to wake up in the midst of it. That's why they want to silence the leaders because they think they can then defeat you. So when you keep us in the fight, you keep yourself in the fight. And this is life and death. So go to InfoWarsStore.com and get amazing products and sign up for auto ship and continue to support. Make a donation at the top and go to the Stone Defense Fund and make a donation to him because he's a gladiator and a champion in the fight. And if you don't support us, you're helping the enemy. And I'm not bitching at listeners. I'm telling you, this is all out war. Roger. Well, Alex, I think you're absolutely right about the fact. Oh, he's absolutely, he's absolutely right. I don't know who Lester's is, who he's bitching at, which is Lester's. I can't keep track. Maybe I'll catch up sooner or later. But there's Alex Jones. Uh, he's fighting an all out war and he wants his viewers to join him in this war. Just go to the store and buy some things and then the war will be over. Yes, yes. You heard that right. I feel like I had to listen to it twice before I was like, there's a hidden message here, right? This isn't just about buying things from the Alex Jones store, is it? Yeah, it is. Uh, so there's there's reasons why he's doing these types of things and screaming at his audience to do this. It's because during a rant on his podcast, Jones declared that unnamed forces, they're waging this war against you and your family. That's that war. Jones then pivoted, as you saw, to hawking his stuff. In addition to hawking these B12 vitamin supplements through InfoWars store, Jones also encouraged his viewers to make a donation to Trump ally Roger Stone and his legal defense fund. Hey, this is all about fighting that war. Give me some more money. Roger Stone does this a lot, by the way. Jones also in recent months has come under fire. Uh, a continued financial du uh, duress due to these lawsuits that are filed by the families of children who were murdered at the Sandy Hook Elementary School in 2012. And Jones falsely accused of being crisis actors. We've been hearing about this and his financial and uh, 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 woes with these lawsuits, right? Okay, so Jones, even he even filed for bankruptcy last month, which we talked about as well. Although a regional Department of Justice trustee in Texas accused Jones of abusing that bankruptcy process to avoid paying what he owed to the Sandy Hook families. So after that got busted, up next is, well, we gotta raise some more money in the store. Uh, B12 vitamins, uh, a little bit of uh, tinctures under your tongue, and then we're all good, Jessica. Yeah, this reminds me of after 9-11 when George Bush was like, if you love your country, go shopping. It, this thing always happens. <laughs> Republicans cause all kinds of problems, right? We we engaged in imperialism all around the world. We grew some enemies. There was a terror, terrorist attack at terrible prices at home. And he's like, we need more money, actually, everyone go shopping. And Republicans do this all the time. Trump does this, causes all kinds of problems, and then aggressively fundraises. That's the weird thing is, is he's being very aggressive with his viewers. He's not saying we appreciate you so much, we love this community, please give to this community. He's screaming at them. And the tone shift between him screaming and then Roger Stone like, uh, yeah, yeah, totally, thank you. Please donate to my legal defense fund, it's on him. <laughs> we were just talking about, again, I'm gonna hit it the fourth time. You going door to door and talking to people about politics and what they represent in the Bernie campaign. Uh, it's like door to door salesmen. Imagine going to someone's door, knocking, and they go, Hey, how you doing? Uh, Gretchen, Ethel, answer the door. You need to vote. Like, oh my God, no, I don't think I should vote for your candidate because you just showed up screaming at me. And this is potentially you selling your product. What's going to make people who listen to you maybe? The fact that they listen to you, they're already used to the screaming and telling them what to do. But what's gonna make someone go, you know what? Yeah, let me bust out the American Express card and buy some things because he just screamed at me for it. Uh, but he's stressed out, he's, he's worked up and stressed out. And again, the final thing here, like you said, from Donald Trump to Roger Stone to Alex Jones is to get that money. And if asking normally or politely or giving your principles and what you've done for folks doesn't work, I guess you gotta start screaming or tricking people into it like Donald Trump does.